one in four people experience a stroke in their lifetime, and yet 90% of strokes are preventable through lifestyle changes. With me here today is Professor Valerie Fagan, Director um, at the National Institute for Stroke and Applied Neurosciences at AUT. Thank you so much for joining us today. Tell us, what is a stroke and how can we lower our risk of stroke? In simple terms, stroke can be defined as a vascular injury to the brain. And there are three main types of the injury to the brain. One is due to uh, blood vessels uh, blocking. It is the most common type of stroke. We call it ischemic stroke. And um, second most common uh, is uh, when uh, the uh, artery in the brain is ruptured and uh, blood gets into the brain. We we'll call it intracerebral hemorrhage. If ischemic stroke happens in about 80%, 85% of people, intracerebral hemorrhage happens in about 10% of people. And the um, least frequent but equally severe type of stroke is subarachnoid hemorrhage. When the brain artery gets ruptured outside of the brain tissue, in the area around the brain, that's where the blood gets uh, into. It is subarachnoid hemorrhage. About 5% of people suffer from subarachnoid hemorrhage. And the most common cause of that is aneurysm rupture. It is a very devastating um, type of disease. 20% of people who develop stroke die pretty much soon after stroke within the first few months. And about 70, 75% survivors uh, have some level of disability, often require assistance from others to carry on their daily activities. So stroke is much easier to prevent than treat. And to prevent stroke, to avoid stroke, I use the rule of three Ks. Know first, know your um, risk, of having a stroke, uh, because different people have different risk of stroke. Stroke does not happen to everyone. It happens only to people who are predisposed to stroke, have some risk factors to stroke. Therefore, it is crucial to know whether are you at risk of stroke and what is your risk. Secondly, know your risk factors. There are about 200 different risk factors for stroke. And uh, in different people, risk factors are different. So you need to know your personal risk factors to take control of them. And that's where the third K comes in. Know how, how to control your risk factors. And all this information is available in the free to use stroke riskometer app, which um, we uh, try to get used by lay people and um, clini clinicians as widely as possible. It is currently the best educational stroke awareness tool, stroke prevention tool we have in the world. Thank you. That's great. Thank you so much, Valerie. Um, there you have it, people. They are, there are many things you can do um, to lower your risk of stroke, and we will talk about that more in, in other videos as well. Feel free to have a look at our um, Don't Be The One and That Stroke Prevention campaign on our website, www.strokecentral.org.nz. You will also find a link to the Stroke Riskometer app on there. So I urge you all to go and find out what your risk of stroke is. Um, the big thing is stroke prevention is key.